It was a shocking revelation that has completely changed the focus of the investigation into Hannah Fisher's death. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson picks up tonight's top story from here. For more than a month, authorities have been looking for 47-year-old Frank Tracy. We now know he was found shot to death and his body left here for several weeks. Authorities say this could change the direction of their investigation. There's been no sign of Frank Tracy for weeks. Just days after 21-year-old Hannah Fisher was found dead in a Paulding County apartment, police issued a warrant for his arrest. Back in early February when Hannah was, uh, was found, uh, the police department acted with the information that they had then in securing an arrest warrant for Mr. Tracy. Authorities believing Tracy was on the run called in multiple law enforcement agencies, including the U.S. Marshals, even offering a $5,000 reward. It wasn't until this week that a mushroom hunter stumbled across his body near Rochester Cemetery, now leaving investigators with more questions. Is Tracy responsible for Hannah's death, or were they both victims? The Paulding County Sheriff says they're looking at all possibilities. Uh, trying to figure out uh, if uh, uh, the same person responsible for both deaths or if Hannah is, is independent of uh, Franks. Now Tracy has a long rap sheet including several drug related charges. There's been some speculation among people in the community that the killings could be drug related. Will narcotics have a direct reflection back to the results of Hannah and Frank's case? I can't tell you that. I, I can just tell you that uh, uh, we know that there was some involvement there with Mr. Tracy and his history. The sheriff remains optimistic that they will bring whoever is responsible to justice. I just ask the public to believe in us and, and know that we're doing the right thing. We're following the leads that we get. And uh, in time, we're going to be able to hold these people accountable. I believe that. Now, the sheriff says they're working with the Paulding County Police Department to chase down leads. Anyone with any information is asked to call local authorities. Reporting from Paulding, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.